This ATM is a scammer. This one too, and this one as well. These in Turkey are scammers, and this one in Italy is a scammer as well. I'll show you how this clever ATM scam works, but first I want to tell you about the ATM itself. I want to stress that this isn't just common to Turkey, Spain or Italy. There are scam network ATMs all over the world, even in supposedly safe countries like Singapore. But a specific company in Europe called Euronet is the worst for the scam, and I'll show you why. But first, I wanted to point out how many Euronet ATMs there are. There are 14 Euronet ATMs within a 150 meter radius of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Spain. And I bet there are a bunch wherever in Europe you're heading to sightsee. Here's how the scam works. It starts when you enter the card into the overseas ATM. The ATM will read it and determine it's a TBS card from overseas, and once it does that, it's game on for this naughty ATM. The particularly cheeky ATMs, like this one, will offer for you to take out a lot more money than usual, and it's all part of the scam. I'll explain where this fits in in a sec. Now, there's the basic fee this ATM will charge, which will range from 2 to 5 euros. This is normal, as all ATMs will charge you fees, but now it's giving me the option to get charged in Australian dollars and have my currency converted. That's what I want, right? No. This will charge you up to 19% in conversion fees, because instead of allowing your bank to do its job, like they would when you buy anything overseas online, you're allowing Euronet or another dodgy ATM company to step in and give you a terrible rate. So you need to press decline conversion or reject offer. Notice here how this ATM, even after I reject the offer, it still tries to trick me into accepting it. Be really careful with these Euronet ATMs. There's some really clever psychology at work here. Many people will choose the accept option because it's the more comfortable choice. Of course I want to be charged my currency. I don't have any euros. And of course I want to press accept. Notice how these two buttons are labeled exactly the same. It's really clever. And the decline button almost looks like it will cancel your transaction. And nobody wants that. It's all part of the ATM company's clever ploy to separate you from your money while traveling. Plus, they give you a bit of uncertainty about your bank. Your bank isn't going to be uncertain. The conversion rate is always the same and you can check your fees on your bank's website. But now you know the psychological tricks, client conversion or reject offer and how the ATM instead use a MasterCard or Visa network, which will be far more affordable. Now, remember when I mentioned that these ATMs try to take you to take out large amounts of cash? Well, that's because they want to maximize the money they can steal from you. At 19%, taking out 1,000 euros will allow the ATM to steal 190 euros of your hard-earned cash. And these ATMs are everywhere, especially programs to take money from tourist pockets. But these particularly cheeky Euronet ATMs tend to pop up all over Europe around tourist sites. This isn't the only place it happens. At touristy restaurants, cafes, and even at hotels, when paying by card, you could be offered to be charged in your local currency. But that's a mistake. Remember the tip and always decline the conversion. It's just another way for these companies to line their pockets as they get a kickback if you accept. So watch out when you're traveling next so you don't get scammed without knowing it. And subscribe to Loot Travel so you see more videos like this one. Next, check out this video that the algorithm thinks that you'd like to watch next.